I'm eFish and you're watching the Conservation Wind Show brought to you by Aqua Apparel. In each episode, you will learn about the amazing people who are doing some extraordinary work in order to restore and conserve our environment. In this episode, concerns over Hawaii's yellow tang population lead to the successful breeding of the species. In 2015, the Oceanic Institute of Hawaii Pacific University and the Rising Tide Conservation Project were able to successfully breed the yellow tang. This was a huge deal in the aquaculture world as breeding attempts for many other species of surgeon fish had sadly failed. It's difficult to breed fish in general, but one of the main issues is maintaining proper water quality while still keeping up with the very large and frequent appetites of the baby fish, also called fry. Once these two organizations discovered the key to maintaining proper water quality, they accomplished this difficult feat and successfully reared a captive bred yellow tang. Several of them actually. Hawaii's yellow tang is a very vibrant fish with a dog-like personality that is an excellent addition to any saltwater aquarium that is large enough to properly house it throughout the duration of its lifespan. The popularity of this fish led to some issues for its wild population numbers. In fact, at one point, there was a ban on collecting ornamental fish in Hawaii in order to allow the wild populations to recover for this species, as well as for others. This is where the Oceanic Institute of Hawaii Pacific University and the Rising Tide Conservation Project stepped in to help. Once the first batch of captive bred yellow tangs were ready, meaning that the yellow tang fry became juveniles and then they were stable enough to ship, Seagrass Farms and Quality Marine helped to announce this great accomplishment and ship the popular fish to aquarium stores all over the world. Breeding fish can be really expensive between the food and equipment, not to mention the large amount of space that you will need. So in order to expand on this project and ensure that a steady supply of the species was available to the aquarium trade, the profits from the first batch went right back into the project. In order to really scale their efforts, the Oceanic Institute of Hawaii Pacific University has now teamed up with Biota Aquariums to scale these efforts in order to meet the demand for the species without negatively impacting their wild counterparts. I visited Biota Aquarium's facility a while back and my jaw dropped when I got a glimpse of several captive red yellow tanks in a display tank. You can see them in the footage behind me. I had heard that they existed, but this was right before they made the announcement at MACNA in 2018, which is the Marine Aquarium Conference of North America. So this was quite a shock and a privilege to see all at the same time. With the success of the yellow tang, this is paving the way for even more species of surgeon fish to be bred in captivity for the aquarium trade. This is a huge conservation win as the wild counterparts of each of these species will be left in the wild to have their populations recover while still meeting the demand for the aquarium trade. If you like my work and you want to support what I'm doing, do me a favor and like and share this video. It really helps me out. You can also support my work by heading over to conservationwindshow.com to donate and get some exclusive content, gear, and other perks. If you want your work to be featured in an upcoming episode, please send me an email at winds at conservationwindshow.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.